Hi, 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 everyone. I am feeling like such a crazy vibe right now. We are in the final 90 minute countdown for the enrollment closing for my six week program, Embody. I'm like messaging like a crazy fool this morning. I had a beautiful client call this morning. I've got a podcast in a little bit. The group has already kicked off. Like there's so much like potent, powerful, like vibey energy in the air. I don't know if anyone can feel it. I'm like shaking. I've got chills. I'm like, like I'm like coming out of my skin and out of my body right now. I'm like on the most incredible powerful high. Um, after yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw my post, but yesterday I was talking about how I had like the most painful, most intense, heavy period, uh, four days late, but like the day before in body. And I truly believe it's all correlated with like the group starting today and the clearing that I had to do in order to hold space in and be in like pristine in integrity condition for these women. Like I'm just like today I woke up with like a totally different energy, um, after allowing a lot of that release as well. So hello, 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 and welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm so happy that you guys are here. Happy Monday. Happy April 1st. This is not an April Fool's joke. This is just a super vibey live that I wanted to come and share. Just a final few thoughts before in, uh, Embody closes and we shut things down um, until June or July when it should relaunch again. Um, this very first exclusive special round, specially priced. Um, the price will go up next time when I relaunch it. But um, I wanted to just come share what's on my heart. Nothing. I don't have anything planned. I don't have any notes or bullet points or anything. I just wanted to share with you the the importance of this work, but kind of share a little bit with you. So even if you don't join us in Embody, you're able to take something away from today's live and, and utilize it in your life, your business, your relationship, whatever it might be, and see some shifts. Hello, Danielle. Good morning. So good to see you. I love the clapping. Like, woo, 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 we're feeling it. <laughs> Hello, Jennifer. Welcome, Danielle. Yay, yay, yay. Ashley, Megan, Amber, Kayla, Teresa, Jennifer. Hi, hi, hi gorgeous humans. <sighs> Let me just take a breath, like ground myself back in my body. Cause I'm like, so up here right now of just like out of my body experience. Like I just want to take a couple deep breaths here in through my nose, out through my mouth. If you want to join me in grounding right now, feel free. We'll dive into everything in just a second, but Oh, just like ground myself here. Hmm. <sighs> You guys, this work is so needed and so necessary. And I'm like equal parts high out of my body, like not actually high, like from drugs, <laughs> high from like the energy that's happening uh, just with this group right now already that's being created. Like in body is like the, the magic that's happening in there. There's a few of you on here right now who are in the group, Kayla, Teresa, Kristen, like I, I love it. I'm, I'm seeing you guys like in this group and I am watching the notifications like, oh my God, I can't keep up like in the best of ways. Like it's so good of just the energy and the vulnerability that's already happening. And um, I'm equal parts that, but I'm also equal parts like really emotional. Um, I had a very emotional, beautiful client call this morning. Um, I'm on my second day of my period, so I'm like very emotional anyway. Um, lots of release, lots of like beautiful things happening. Um, gratitude and celebration and just massive, massive just like honor um, to be to be guiding women and leading women in this work. I just, I'm like a whole mess of emotions this morning um, in the most beautiful way. So bear with me here. But um, I wanted to riff with you guys a little bit about why the relationship with your body and your pussy is so important. Um, and, oh, I'm going to sneeze now. Oh. Okay, shit, I told you. <laughs> oh, okay. Normally I sneeze like four to six times, so I apologize. <laughs> you guys, I'm a mess this morning. Good morning, Krista. Hello, 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 Tiffany and Brittany. Hello, welcome. So the relationship to your body, you know, your body, your pussy, your femininity, your sensuality, your sexuality, your eroticism, like the relationship that we have with like our physical body, our spiritual body, our energetic body directly affects our creativity, our success, the ease of what we're calling in, the ease of what we're bringing into this world, it's all correlated. And that's why I created Embody because I'm seeing so often these women coming to me telling me, I want more money. 
I want better sex. Um, I want, you know, deeper intimacy with my partner. I want greater connection. I want, I want to be more creative. I just, I want to write or I want to speak or I want to share or I want to create something, but I'm not creative. Or, you know, I, I want to be more in my feminine goddess mode. I'm all up in my masculine hustle mode and I want to be more in my, in my feminine, but I don't know how. I don't know how is always a thing. How, 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 how. And of course, there's like tangible tips I teach in my programs and the coaching that I do. And, and we, we dig into your specific personal situation. But for the, the point of this live is not for me to teach you all of these like, here's your 10 steps how to. Because I also don't believe in that. I think all of us have our own blueprint within us that when we tap into that, the next steps and the how and our own specific strategy created for us on a soul level comes through. It's not a 10 step process, right? But the reason that I created this was to show you that the way that you look at your body, the way that you feel in your body is directly affecting everything in your life. And why that is, is because how we show up in one area is how we show up in most areas. So if I'm showing up in the bedroom and I'm, and I'm not asking for what I want, where else in my life? Am I not asking for what I want? If I'm going to the pool and I, I want to wear this bikini or I want to wear this swimsuit, but I'm uncomfortable in my body, so I stay covered, where else in my life and my business, my relationship and in sex, am I allowing myself to shrink and be covered because I'm uncomfortable in my body? If I'm afraid to touch my pussy, where else in my life am I afraid to feel intimacy or feel closeness or feel held and nurtured and supported? It's the same thing. And what I see and, and this power that we have as women is we have this power in our pussy. And if that word freaks you out, if you're like crawling in your skin, I used to be you. That's the first step. Be able to say the word. Give it the meaning. Be able to say the word. It's just describing. Because when we say vulva, we're just describing the outside. When we say vagina, we're just describing the inside. So when we say pussy, I personally believe that we're talking about the whole piece of it. The inside, the outside, it's all intertwined. There's some outside. There, it goes in. It, it like goes into our stomach and our gut. It's our womb. It's all of these pieces. It's all encompassed, right? And... That's where the source of our power lies. That is where our creativity lies. That is where our femininity comes from. That is where our life source energy comes from. Our life force energy, our sexual energy, our creative energy. It all comes from our pussy. And if I am blocked if I will not allow my partner to be a part of it, if I will not allow myself to have my own self-pleasure practice, good morning, Anna. I'm so happy that you're here. If I will not allow myself to be connected with me there, like forever I had so many shames and judgments and, and beliefs about self-pleasure, masturbation, touching myself. Like it was big X, like straight journey to hell if I was to do that. And I was so disconnected from my body. I'm disconnected from my life force. I'm disconnected from my power center. I'm disconnected from the place in my body, physically, energetically, spiritually, right? All of it. I'm disconnected from that. Mara, yay, I'm so happy that you're here. This is just a live on my personal page. We have not started in body yet. Those will be like super exclusive, next level juicy, whole next level, I promise, right? So. Kelly says it relatable on the shame story. Yeah, it's, and that's why I created Embody. Because yes, it has to do with body image and body positivity, but our pussy is part of our body. Self-pleasure, there has to be like this shame released from it to get back in connection and intimacy with ourselves so that we can experience that closeness and intimacy with our partner. I have to go first. If I'm disconnected from my body anywhere, my partner feels it. My clients feel it. My audience feels it. Energy doesn't lie. And how we show up in one area is how we show up in most. Where am I afraid to be seen? 
Where am I afraid to be experienced? Where am I afraid to be um, afraid to be felt? Where am I not trusting myself? Where am I not one with my body? Where am I uncomfortable with intimacy? All of these pieces directly affect everything, like a direct correlation from one to the other to the other. When I can start owning who I am in the bedroom and what I want, I start owning and showing up for what I want in life, demanding it, declaring it, deciding that this is what I want. It's all correlated. When I became comfortable with my own pussy and I created my own self-pleasure practice, I was able to hold a different type of energy and space for my clients. Not like I'm, I'm not masturbating while I'm on the call with them. It's a totally separate thing, but I was able to go into this intimacy with myself, this closeness and, and tap into this, this power that was being denied. It's trying to come through me, but it was being denied because I was completely shut off from myself. But when I accessed that and I, and I allowed myself to experience pleasure, intimacy, connection, sexual satisfaction. I allowed myself to have it as almost a spiritual meditative experience. I was able to create a different energy in my body that I can also create in sex with my partner, but it was just a different experience. If you hear what I'm saying, I hope you're picking up what I'm laying down. <laughs> There's a different experience than like when I'm in, when I'm in a situation with my partner, it's a different, it's still pleasurable. Duh. I freaking love having sex with that man. But, and that wasn't always that way either got there, worked my way up. And that's why I created Embody, right? But it, it's a different experience with myself to be able to be one with my body and not ignoring a vital piece of me. For so long, I, I practiced body positivity and I, I was just trying to like get okay with my body and like self-love from a, I'm going to work out. I'm going to eat well. I'm going to wear these clothes. I'm going to do, it was very like physical. And then I, when I was able to adopt a self-pleasure practice, I went into a spiritual, energetic self-love experience on like it, it, it accessed different parts of me that a workout or that eating healthy couldn't do. And I started to fall back in love with who I was. And there was a lot of shame work, Kelly, that had to happen for that. That's literally the entire first one. Most likely two weeks of Embody will be all of the what's been happening the last however many years you've been on the planet, right? What are your stories around sex, sexuality? How do you feel in your body? What are the stories going on in your head? What's the shame and the judgment and the fear around it? We got to go back there in order to move forward. I could give you, here's a self-pleasure practice, but till we go back and we, we dive into all of this with coaching, it's not just me on a live telling you, it's you and me having genuine conversation, you hearing, you know, Mara and um, Carson and Kelly, all of them sharing their experiences. Kayla comes on and she shares, and then all of a sudden it strikes something in you and this whole group in this vulnerable, sacred space, we all start sharing our own stories and our own past and our own experiences and our own fears. And it's like this, transcendent moment for all of us as a collective to experience it's a different thing than simply getting information on a live being inspired and then going out right so it's this Whitney says girl me too thank you for having the confidence to share I'm so happy and in love with myself I love that Whitney oh I just want everyone to feel that that's like so good and everyone hopping on hello I'm so happy you're here please feel free to comment um, if you have anything to share on any of this or questions or anything so the reason that this is all important is because as women, we have, right, apart from men, men are wonderful humans too. I am all for rise of the divine feminine, rise of the divine masculine. It, I am not a girl that believes in death to the patriarchy. I think men are wonderful human beings and damn are they necessary on this planet. Love them. They are needed in the creation of life as well, right? When a man loves a woman, enters, something happens, right? Right? They're needed, okay? However, we create in our bodies and we house something and we bring it to life from a teeny tiny little idea to a little thing to a baby and we birth a human. And even if for me, I don't even want children at this point in my life, but I still hold that power to create in my body, right? Like our bodies were created, we're so fucking powerful. But when we're disconnected from our body and from our womb, 
And especially if there have been things that have happened in life or things that you have experienced that have turned you off from that part of you and you're pretending like it's not there and you're angry at it and you're hurting and you just block yourself off from it and you pretend la 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 it doesn't exist. I don't want to see my pussy. I don't want to know. I don't want to feel it. I'm numb to it. I'm ignoring it. You're blocking yourself from your creative power, from your life force energy from your sexual orgasmic energy that is wanting to like course through your veins that will call in what you want that will call in you know money clients the abundance that you desire that will make it this effortlessness and this ease well yes you still have to do the work okay i'm still showing up on a facebook live i'm working right now i'm still right i'm working it's not like it's magic but i'm turned on versus turned off and dimmed down when we want success and when we want to feel creative, we need to get into our bodies and not just, I'm going to, I'm going to work out and I'm going to eat healthy. That's beautiful too, but I'm going to create and experience pleasure and bliss, transcendence, orgasm. I'm going to allow myself to surrender to the pleasure, surrender to whatever, you know, your, your partner in the moment and you're letting them pleasure you or yourself, God, the universe, source, creator, whoever your jam is, I'm not here to tell you what that looks like for you. Your spiritual practice, your self-pleasure practice can be very different than mine. But when we block ourselves, like for, for the last 27 years of my life until I went to Tulum, Mexico, I had never looked at my own pussy. How do you think that was affecting me? I was like grossed out by it. For years, for years, I was completely turned off from my body, completely turned off from my sexuality, didn't allow myself to fully feel pleasure or receive anything, and that was affecting everything in my life, my relationship with my partner, my relationship with money, my relationship with content creation, my, my relationship with God, all of it. Do you think that God fucked up when he created you with a vagina that you think might look weird or that might smell funky sometimes? And you're like, oh, he's going to go down on me? What is that going to smell like down there? Oh. Or when you're not allowing yourself to receive pleasure and you're turned off because you've got shame stories in your head and you say so you turn it off. How, how would you feel if you created something and that person that – Let's say you created something and that human or that idea or that, you know, thing, I should have come up with a better story ahead of time, turned off and just like ignored you and turned and was like, oh, this is wrong and this is icky and this is gross, but you created it with intention. Would you be hurt? Like, how does that affect your relationship with your creator, whoever you think that is, right? How is that affecting your relationship with that? Right? Does that make sense? Are you guys picking up what I'm laying down? Let me take a sip of coffee. Hi, Kelsey. Hello, Hannah. Hello, hello. Hi, Taylor. Melissa. Hi, hi. So I'm telling you this because it's important. Because for years and years and years and years and years and years and years, I'm damn near 30 years old, and I was completely shut off in trying to change and ignore and block and la, 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 like avoid certain parts of my body right? Oh, I hate my stomach. My vagina looks weird. Oh, this is weird. Oh, I have cellulite. Oh, this, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this. And I kept trying to make more money and attract clients and create ideas and have better sex with my husband and show up stronger over here. But I was ignoring the very vessel in which was specifically intentionally created for a very specific purpose and mission. And I was judging it. And I was shutting myself off from it. And I was ignoring it and avoiding it. Trying to just look like them. Getting caught up in comparison or doubt or or self-hatred. Ripping myself apart. Crying myself to sleep. Trying this pill. Trying that diet. Trying that workout. Trying that thing. Going to that class. Buying that supplement. Trying to like put band-aids on this feeling, this void this emptiness within myself. And when I tapped into self-love and self-care and goddess energy and self-pleasure, 
you guys, it affected how I make money. It affected my relationship with my creator. It affected my relationship with my husband. It affected my sex life. It affected the type of clients that I call in. It affected how I show up on social media and how I do it completely channeled and completely just here riffing with you, throwing, throwing down whatever's coming through, knowing that it's reaching who it's meant to reach. I created Embody from a divine download that came through me like effortlessly. And I sat down and I, I wrote it all out, what was coming through my heart. And I'm like, okay, da, 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 da. and I shared it. And it's been the most successful and effortless and, and ease of a launch I've ever done ever in my last almost five years of online entrepreneurship. It is all the same. Our source of power is our pussy. Our, our sense of femininity and creativity and sexual energy, it's all the same. Creative energy, life force energy. The energy that creates life also creates ideas and abundance, relationship, intimacy, closeness, connection, magnetism. It's all correlated. How we show up in one area is how we show up in most areas. If I am denying my own body, what else am I denying? If I am afraid to be seen in the bedroom, where else am I afraid to be seen? If I'm afraid to ask for what I want, where else am I afraid to ask for what I want? It's all correlated. Literally, ladies, our, right? How we always talk about how men are like one track mind. It's so simple for them. And women were like, they talk about it. It's like we have a million internet tabs open in our brains, right? Our turn on is the exact same way. Our pussy is the exact same way. She goes in, here's the outside, the vulva. She goes in, it's the vagina, goes up, and it's like all like all of these like intestines and womb and stomach and genitals and everything is all intertwined. Our clitoris is on the outside, but it actually like webs inside. It like literally shoots up and it goes up inside, right? Men, it's right here. It's an organ. It does a lot of things and it's right here and it's very simple and we go into much more complexity and when we become one with and comfortable with and in ownership of the power that we have and the complexity that is our experience in life, that is our body, that is our pussy, when we start to become comfortable with and know and close with ourselves, we're able to become closer with our partners and with other humans and with money and with spirituality and with sexuality. It's all intertwined like one big, beautiful, giant web that we weave. How freaking badass is that? And you know what? Some people tell me like, well, I don't have a relationship with my pussy, but I am super creative and I am super successful and I am totally great. Cool. I'm celebrating you. What else do you think is possible for you? What even next level is available for you by getting in touch with your power center, by getting in touch with your life force energy, by getting in touch with your pussy, with your body, fully owning and loving who you are, even in the physical sense, even when you still have 20 pounds to lose, even when you still have cellulite, even when you still have that role that drives you crazy, even when you still have that hair that you wish looked like hers, even in those moments when you're in full ownership and in love and in full acceptance and embodiment of who you are and who you were created to be, what else is motherfucking possible for you? It's just the tip of the iceberg. What else? We're limitless. We are abundant. We are fruitful. We are everything. Like we have this ability to create all of the things. But we have to be in ownership of that and in a relationship with that. And when we ignore the relationship with our bodies, our self-pleasure, our you know, self-love, our pussy, our womb, our creativity, our success, like all of this is intertwined. And that is why I created Embody. Because so many women come to me and they're like, well, how? How do I have better sex? How do I make more money? How do I have the clients? How do I become more creative? Beautiful questions. But the foundation is how is your relationship with your body and with your pussy and with your sexuality foundation. And then from there we build.
and that's why I created this. So we start today, April 1st, hello, hello. In one hour, you have one more hour before enrollment closes to get inside of this program. I will run it again, probably June, July, August, summer-ish timeframe, okay? Price will go up next time. This is the experience, the first special exclusive experience um, in this very first round. We already have 20 women inside. It's like magical, but I can't even keep up in the best of ways already. You do have group support. You have me as your coach in there. We have two calls a week. We're going to be diving into this work. We're going to be conversating about it. We're going to be coaching around it. It's not just here's information in a video to watch. It's a here's an experience to experience. Here's a transformation to step into. Yes, Mara, yes! Getting me so pumped for Embody. I'm so freaking happy to have you, yay. So we start today, one more hour. I'm gonna get off so I can make sure I'm in my inbox for anyone that has final questions. Um, I do offer personalized payment plans, but the total of the program is 333 for the six weeks. We can break it up however you would like it. I've been working with a lot of you on that, figuring out what works for you. Um, and please join us. Let me know what questions you have. If any of this is resonating with you, if you feel turned off by any part of your being, this is a beautiful first place to start. Yes, we're going to be talking about like body positivity and really falling in love with who we are, accepting, respecting who we are in our human form, right, our physical form. But we're also going to be going into the energetic side of it around self-pleasure and self-care and goddess energy and all of these pieces because it's all intertwined, right? So it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful program. I'm so excited. It was like the most divine download I've ever had. It flew right through me. <laughs> and the the engagement and the um, response to it has been something I, of my wildest dreams. And I cannot even wait to serve you guys inside. So let me know what questions you have for me. I will be in my inbox for the next hour as we wrap up. And and then we are setting times for the calls. I have a poll right now in the group for what times work best for everyone. Um, recordings will be available if you can't make it live. Um, and if you have questions, let me know. I love you guys. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you for being here with me today. Um, if you are, if Embody is not for you, but if you're still like, okay, I'm, I'm curious about all of this work, right? Um, this book called Pussy, A Reclamation is a beautiful place to start. Um, beautiful place to start. Even if you are in Embody, those who are who are watching, I would highly recommend you read this book while we do the work we're doing um, because it will also even just like help it sink in at a whole different level. And um, yeah, that's what I have for you. I love you. Pussy power. Hell freaking yes. Like go create, go be, go be the magic that you are. It's, it's dying to come out of you. But we have to be in one with our body and with our pussy in order to access that power, right? So figure out what that looks like for you. Take those next steps. Dive into this work. Go journal around some of the things that came up for you in today's live. Um, and I can't wait to celebrate you. You guys know where to find me if there's any way that I can serve you and support you. I'll see you guys on another Facebook Live soon. I love you. If you're in Embody, I'll see you guys later. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have the most beautiful day. Bye.